hello everyone today in this video we're gonna take a look about how you can create update application from your own application like example if I open my admin application in next next you can see here's the update interface uh, it's look like uh, you have to choose the correct application and make sure you get some title or message and you upload it on firebase storage and then you can get it also in your user account when your network connection is enabled like you can see it's a connected and internet is connected so you can see here is the update and uh, it's a title message and here is the update now if i click on update now it start automatically downloading from application and installing from them so how we can create it uh, so i'm going to demonstrating you with give you some blocks and assist it so let me open sketcher first it getting slow because when we have connected with internet connection uh, those ads like annoying thing pop up every time so yeah it's open now before we jumped up to this tutorial make sure you already know about firebase or firebase storage so how you can use it so i will make it in future one video related with firebase so it's only the demo version about the update application so how it works it's really important if i go to more block section you can see here in this updateify component i actually name it like updateify but it's not updateify any components used here you can see like I use one extra components let me see those components first so here you can see first I use one network component one dialog component and here also firebase database with update update apk and firebase storage use firebase new app where your new app gonna be stored like that so after that you have to go component and here make sure you add those uh, network uh, component like on response or on error response then you have to pick up uh, db firebase db component or on child chained one child added okay here also the storage component so if i go to on request component here i use the block and on response it just show on error response it shows server timeout what it shows on a uh, response if i go to update confine you can see i just add on json map and on response i add one string here and set a uh, string to app name so i add different string variables like app name it's a title message or url and you can see those keys i added here actually those are map variables that already updated in firebase tv or database and i also forget to tell about i also add one shared preference here and set the data to my url if shared performance data get contains my message is like title message then it's set to my title message and update now so you can see those are different uh, map variables like title message those strings and get it from firebase storage and when user click on download URL, so it's saved to my get external storage to my own folder like lonely spec update uh, with the title and dot apk and as a notification alert i also use notification builder and this same thing and 
yeah same thing we have used many times like on child edit i also use the same thing but i just use here is the different like we add child value you can see same components three times with the but here we are we make sure use this child value because it's a one child changed thing and also on child edit you have to do the same thing so if I go to let me think this okay here you can see on download success when a uh, user got downloaded the application from apk the notification builder alertment with run this application you can see here i add run this application and here also create one extra dialog name download it and run it and here is the uh, main code that you have to access your or write your external storage for downloading this thing so here i add intent component new internet and it uh, download to my local external storage like update.apk name okay then it start activity with intent if i click on run it just automatically installing on my device so here's the best thing and i also use the same firebase uh, api key app id with the same things like we have used in admin application so let me show you some admin tips first so here you can see it's a update uh ui so here what i said you already have seen the same name with same component like firebase new app update update the same component we have used in here also so if uh if, if you can see in the library section the same api fid that we've been using uh user application so let me go back and show you those blocks so you can see here what i have used to uh, storage db and file picker component so uh, when i click on image view one so it pick files but make sure you choose all files because if you choose like uh, file picker component here name it like whatever you want but make sure you have used all files because image audio text not accessible with application that's all and here on file picks uh, it file picked on file picks it's showing like image we one set image file path because i just use it like that but you only can use two blocks only so yeah it's just create two different strings like one for title one for path and here is a file path defined with the string variable like get uh, zero and here also the case last segment as a title and so here if i go to this button one click or pressed i use this uh, firebase component like firebase storage uh, upload file path or title that we've been already uh, used as a title path component so yeah and here is the main thing uh, on uh, firebase upload success if i go to firebase success with the firebase storage component you can see because if we go to on child edit or all child change those are not available about that if i go to upload success you can see here what i've used like is for you to go to upload it or upload success and here i've created uh, a separate map with the name map map is equal to create new map with the same type 
tail or message text that been gated uh, from storage or Firebase dev database to the user application and I also use this text view sorry it is edit text to edit text one two and also add one string URL as a name as a string URL and download this URL and up upload this URL to my database and here is the main thing because when you uh, use this kind of thing you just add this component it's like firebase db push value but we didn't push anything we just add this firebase db with the add key data and value of my map so yeah it's really important because we don't use any list view so we don't have to use this block push value so make sure you use this one like update data or value on progress I just added like uploading something that's all so main thing is uh, make sure you already know about database and storage component okay let me give a quick review here virus is really important when you open your virus uh, from your store uh, from your site uh, make sure you use the desktop site because it's really easy to handle firebase in desktop mode so you have to go to go to console or you can directly go from your or visit from your application like if I go to library and firebase here also the go to console button so still loading so you can see here is my project oops it's wrong one okay so first when you new in uh, firebase so make sure you choose this one add application when I when you click on add application make sure you choose your platform like Android and then it pop up and you have to go to settings and uh, project settings and copy it all information like project ID that needed API key and also app ID and another thing is storage bucket bucket URL so if I go to storage you can see here is the bucket URL just copy it from here and paste it there so when you first uh, starting a thing like storage or database uh, you have to follow some rules like use a test mode or lock mode and you have to give also the permission like read write true uh, and then you good to go and you can use this thing easily without any problem so how it works is a really uh, easy way so you have one server like firebase with the real time database and storage from firebase storage you just created map variables and push it or upload it at at key source and in your map to firebase storage or firebase database and in your user application the same string name or same keys uh, that you've been uploaded in firebase database uh, get it from firebase database to your user application and how it works it's really easy or simple technique so thank you guys thank you for watching and i hope it will work for you and it's really easy after all and all codes in description go there and paste it from me. and yeah thank you for watching it's a huge time with huge things thank you